The Weisman Art Museum in Minneapolis, Minnesota is one of the top art museums in the United States. Established in 1924 by Frederick R. Weisman for his personal art collection to, the, to be displayed, this museum now has over 20,000 unique pieces of art that will absolutely blow your mind. In this video, we'll be taking a tour of the Weisman Art Museum, helping you figure out what the top things to check out. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kyle of ViaTravelers.com. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Via Travelers YouTube channel. Now, without further ado, let's begin. The Weisman Art Museum is located on campus at the University of Minnesota, right next to the Southeast Washington Avenue Bridge on the Mississippi River. The area is easily accessible by public transport or by car, and the museum is open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on all other days and closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Entry into the Weisman Art Museum is completely free every single day. The first attraction you'll see at the museum is the building itself, designed by Frank Geary, who is famous for attractions like the Dancing House in Prague or the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles. The building is made in a contemporary style with some unique edges and shapes encompassing it. It's not really everyone's cup of tea, but it's done right and it's made entirely out of stainless steel. Depending on where you look at the building from, it can either look like an abstract fish or brick facades that blends in with the historic surroundings. The collection in the museum is a mix of ceramics, paintings, photographs, prints, drawings, posters, and even Korean furniture. Furniture isn't something you'd expect to see at an art museum, but the Weisman Art Museum's collection of Korean furniture is truly a sight to behold. It sort of takes you back in time to see how royals truly lived in old Korea, with things like bedside tables and mirrors, things considered normal today, but luxurious items in olden days. The paintings, though, are the primary attraction at the Weisman Art Museum, featuring a collection with paintings dating back to the colonial America times, all the way up until modern art from today. This museum has one of the richest collections of American art in the country. It also has a massive Native American art collection, with certain pieces going back thousands of years. It contains extremely rare portraits of some of the most important people in the world at certain times, such as the portrait of Maria Luisa of Parma, Clarence Henry Eccles, Elias Potter Lyon, and more. The primary area of these paintings is the 20th century, although it has plenty of older and newer pieces of art as well. The ceramics section is a lot more interesting than you'd expect it to be. There are countless little statuettes from the 1700s and even older ones that you'd think would have been in a factory somewhere in China. But no, they've all been carved and painted by hand. They've been perfectly preserved by the museum. On top of that, there are a lot of Native American plates, bowls, and tools that have been preserved here. And there's even a, an extensive collection of international artifacts from the Ming Dynasty in China and much more. Once again, taking a look at these is going to take you back in time to see how people used to live during that time. But interestingly, one of the most fascinating sections of this museum is not the paintings nor the ceramics section, but the posters section. Posters have been used for propaganda, advertisement, and public service announcements for centuries at this point, but they've often been overlooked as a work of art. Another thing about these posters is that they were made for the public at the time to view. So it really gives you a brand new perspective on things. Take a look at the We Must Have Order poster criticizing the Cold War policies of the USSR and the US. Or the anti-American US government doesn't know beans poster by pro-Nicaraguan communists. There are all sorts of posters like these, many of which will make you laugh, cry, or both. Where else would you find a Japanese tourism poster from the Imperial era titled Beautiful Japan? Overall, the Weissman Art Museum is a must visit whenever you're in the Twin Cities or even an easy day trip or a way to spend the afternoon. And with over 20,000 pieces of art, there's always something for each person. That's a wrap for this video today. What's your favorite attraction at this museum? Have you been or will you go? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you on the next one and cheers.